Oh, hi everyone. So, I wanted to talk to you a bit about the meaning of life, because a lot of people have looked for the meaning of life, and I actually think it's very simple. A number of years ago, I was walking through Spain on a pilgrimage called the Camino de Santiago de Compostela. The whole process is called the Way of St. James. Believe it or not, even though it's a sort of spiritual pilgrimage, and I'm not particularly a spiritual person, I actually gained so much from it, got a sense of really what the meaning of life is, and this is something that goes back for billions of years. I'm sure you guys are aware, but the human race started off as hunter-gatherers, so in other words, we would migrate around the country, we would live in groups of 200 people, we would have very, very close sort of relationships with people, and one key aspect of being a hunter-gatherer is, well, you need to walk for a very long distance. It's really got me thinking. One day when I was walking, I arrived on the most beautiful hill. It must have been about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Um, the heat of the day was starting to subside, and I was just stood on this hill that I had climbed with a friend of mine, looking out across the vista, and it was absolutely stunning and beautiful, but... More than that, I really got the sense of this is what human beings were meant to do. This is really the meaning of life. If you um, want to know what human beings were kind of put on this world to do, then, you know, walking and hunting and gathering and making allies and friends and perhaps even sometimes enemies. Well, like I said, we've done this for millions of years and this felt so natural, but this was also such a huge revelation for me because I'd read quite a lot of philosophy and nothing I've read really specifically addresses the meaning of life. It kind of addresses how you should live. I certainly think we don't do enough walking. Um, walking's amazing, it's been shown to make people more intelligent. The actual mass of the brain increases when we walk, so you know, mentally and physically and spiritually. And obviously I was doing a um, sacred holy pilgrimage, For you can do it for any reason you want. You can do it because it's a fantastic holiday, it's um, a good way of getting fit. I mean, certainly if you're um, a Christian, then in the olden days this used to be a way of getting a lot of your sins forgiven. So I, I still think there's sort of an aspect of um, self-change there. But I, I really wanted to share this sort of revelation with you guys, and I'm sure maybe a lot of you guys have um, also had a sort of similar experience. Um, I've also been thinking, perhaps, if that was the meaning of life for human beings, what is the purpose of human beings then? As you guys may have noticed, we, we're a very, very, very destructive species. You know, we've transformed huge swathes of the land and the sea to serve our needs, burnt down most of the forests over the past 10,000 years. We've changed massive amounts of country to monoculture, for example, all across Europe. I was hearing about France the other day. France is just a desert of monoculture. Now, we still have those hedgerows. We don't exist so much in France. Long story short, yeah, we're incredibly destructive. Transformed a lot of the earth. We've obviously extracted a lot of fossil fuels. 95% of our energy still comes from fossil fuels, and the only way that a planet could ever get life onto other planets and to transform other planets would be to allow an intelligent species to evolve. The Earth is kind of alive to a large extent. Maybe it's not conscious, but... But anyway, maybe the purpose of mankind going into the future is to transform other planets, to be more like Earth, and of course, if human beings ever did transform another world, we would take a lot of the other life with us, wouldn't we? We'd take dogs and trees and plants and animals and probably not mosquitoes, to be honest. They can kind of stay on Earth. Maybe all the destruction that mankind has caused has some kind of greater purpose. Maybe we don't even see it yet, but maybe it is to colonise other worlds. Um, we're a long way away from it right now. You know, we're dreaming, you know, we're thinking. Someone once said that life were, was the universe thinking and feeling. I mean, all matter, as far as we know, in the rest of the universe is just it's not alive. It's not conscious. It can't think. As far as we know, perhaps there are other 
life forms out there that can, but we're the first organisms who can see and think and feel. I guess that maybe there's a greater purpose for us. I wonder what we should do with this information. For a start, if human beings destroy the Earth, then we're not going anywhere. We're not going to colonise another planet, we're just going to wreck this one. So we need to acknowledge that the Earth has suffered immensely in order to host us. And we really need to repay that. We really need to develop sustainable technologies which will propel us into the future. We really need to find a way of living in harmony with the rest of nature without destroying so much of it. We need to find a better way of existing and if we can colonize other planets I think like a coconut or a seed we could we could be the, the organism that allows life on Earth to spread. Ultimately, the Earth will be destroyed eventually. Something will destroy it. It could be a meteor. It could be the expansion of the sun, although that's a long way off. And if the Earth can't move, if it can't spread its life out into the universe, well, it's kind of doomed. So... We need to bear this in mind. If we want to survive, we really need to invest in science and technology. But more importantly, we need to invest in sustainability. We need to make sure that our agriculture, human activity generally, is conducted in a way which benefits not just us, but the rest of the world and future generations, quite frankly.